We have the regular spring campaign. This one received a lot of criticism from Trackmania players because a lot of the maps are quite repetitive. It lacks a few things like drifting, like variety, like bobsleigh, proper full speed, proper tech. So there was an attempt by the community to make something called the community campaign, community spring. This one, they got a lot of the things that were missing in it, like drifts, uh, like bobsleigh, but it was super difficult. But we're going into uh, SB Villas Club, and we're gonna we're gonna see how long this takes. Map 01 of Villas Campaign. That was some bump game audio a little bit. So 01 maps tend to have speed slides. They tend to have. Well, that's actually the main thing I think about with 01: a drop down and a speed slide. And this has a little bit of both. 200s behind. So regular arch time on this does not look that tricky, which is good. I think that's fine. Oh no. Am I gonna get it? <laughs> this is close on speed. No, it should be fine. That is regular author time. Now there's a plugin for this, right? There's a plugin to see what the actual author time is. Yeah, so if I install this, I don't think I'm going for that. I do not think I'm I'm going for that. Okay, next map. <clears throat> next map. Next next map. I have a masculine and dark voice. I do not have a voice that cracks all the time. God damn. Dude, I once did that. I tried to say goodnight to my mom when I was in puberty. And I was gonna say goodnight and my voice cracked so I'm like good night. And then I did like <clears throat> good night. And my mom, I could hear her laughing for a solid, like, two minutes. And then ten minutes later, she would laugh again, just thinking about it. I feel like we all have done the thing where we say goodnight to our parents. And then get under the covers in your bed. And you whip out the Game Boy Advance and start grinding Pokemon. And the sweat is just running from your face by how hot it is. But you do not want to be caught playing Game Boy past bedtime. Um, I think I want to play the tracks and then watch the world record at the end. It's 28.1 on this. Dirt map. I like uh, the ideas though. Like, the first map was a bit of speed. Uh, and then you had a full grass map and now full dirt. Like, the campaign, the campaign white maps needs this variety. I don't mind if there's like a little bit of ice on one of these white maps. Maybe a water bounce, like just something to you introduce you to all the different concepts. That was actually a first try author time. <laughs> I think if you go for all the villa medals, this campaign is like 10 hours of content. And that might be something we're gonna grind later on. But for now, I just wanna discover the maps. Ooh, okay. Can I also, yeah, a little bit of ice, I like that. Can I also say I just appreciate the aesthetic? Like, the aesthetic feels very Nodeo. Maybe it's not the hardest scenery style to copy, but to make it feel authentic and like, expanding in his own ways is good. Did I not call I wanted two things? A little bit of ice and a water bounce. Just get you introduced. You appreciate my aesthetic? I have noticed lately, and I just want to say this out there, I'm not calling out names, but there are more and more viewers that I feel are okay, hitting on me. There are more and more. Not an alarming amount, but more than before. <laughs> and we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this, okay? That person you see online is not the person I am in person. It's not far from it. Um... I think I'm just more degenerate off stream. I also will read okay, subs messages more than non-subs. If there's a sexy hunk shamelessly, ride, clap your hands. Shamelessly, I will only focus on subscriber messages. Like, you might not. It looks like the chat isn't in sub only mode right now, but I don't even see the non-subs. I just filter them out. I gotta give the subs their money's worth. Hi, Virtual. Hi, Bestie. <laughs> oh, I already got author time. Guys, we gotta get more of you guys to, to play Trackmania. What's it gonna take? 
Like, if you are not convinced about playing Trackmania right now, or if you're on the fence about it, what can I say to convince you? Fun racing game. It has free-to-play content in it. Not a lot, but you get, like, maybe... At the minimum, I'd say, like, 5 to 10 hours out of it before you're bored. Free-to-play. Now on Xbox, PC, and... PlayStation. And then... Beyond that, $10 a year, a movie ticket a year, you get like 300 couple of days where you can be a god gamer. Where can you get Trackmania? It's on Ubisoft. Ubisoft Connect on PC. And on Steam, actually. Found the difference in starting lines that gave me a this lot more speed. Sigma is dude. Good luck and have fun, people, love. I also... Oh, Villa is a really good map builder. Like, right now, Villa is working on a 500-hour uh, project. Like, he spent 500 hours building one map. This it's called Core. Dude. And I think he will release it soon. But I feel like already he's just understood the assignment so well. Like, wide open roads, look at this. But you also get rewarded for good approaches here. And like, now you have a lot more space to build speed. And then just jumping up here. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Thank god there's a massive platform to land on. Not really that crashable. Okay, you have one tricky part. But then you also have a wide open space to catch yourself. Good design is, uh, is something I can appreciate. I do appreciate the... Wait, what's going on there? Wait, 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 wait. That's a cool idea. So you drop in the water, you get... The water wants to flip you forward, so you actually get a water flip, I think. I think Trackmania is a game that is... It's, it's really fun to watch. And it's okay to have you, like... Well, if you play, like, Valorant, or you play CSGO or Rocket League or something as your main game, and you just have this on the side as a, because it's fun background noise, all good, right? Trackmania is a challenging game to get into. But... It's also very rewarding when you uh, beat your own personal best or learn something new. That's the same like outlet for mastery. Not full speed, but some release corner it looks like. Ah. Uh, uh, did I do that wrong? I've never seen that before, though, the bug, but I'm glad it works now. So it was left turn, get all that speed through, set up for this right turn, and then around. Okay, only by 800th. I would not recommend trying to beat 65 khaki maps for this skin alone, it's not worth it. It took a big mental toll. <laughs> But, um, matchmaking gold is pretty doable. Oh. Yeah, this one I think is a lot about just diving early. You don't want a lot of floating time or bouncing. Clean water dives. So... This should be faster. Looks like it is. Well, that turn is tricky. I think most of the time diving is faster. <laughs> We're quite far though, that's three seconds. Yeah, if you go under the reset gate, you get the reactor longer, that's true. Here. And then again, you want to dive. And not go wide, but just stay... Yeah, this looks better. Almost. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? If you're a business... If you're a business, and your record is 500 customers in one day, and then it goes up to 800, 
that's a massive increase. Like that is, even though it's just 300 players, you might say it's like, if that's if that's start of something bigger, that's like insane. Ooh. Nice, I beat it by a ton. Did I hear about the Raiders new tournament? I did. Will I play it? Most likely not. Uh, just because I know a lot of the pros are gonna play it, and I would have to dedicate so much time to practice to even have a chance. A slim chance. So I think I'm just gonna sit back and watch the very best players. Because you, your, your Carl Juniors, your brands, your entire TMGL lineup, all the pros will play that one. It's likely the biggest tournament of the year. Cash prize wise. But it's really cool that Serrator is doing another Trackmania event, though a lot of people are saying it's his last. Um, still cool that he wanted to host his new, uh, new format in Trackmania first. Like, the prize pool is already at 10k. And every Twitch subscription Serrator gets, 2 euros from that will be added to the prize pool. So... Likely gonna exceed like 30k, in my opinion. So yeah, it will stomp any other prize pool this year. So far. Dude, every company has new CEOs and we all know the memes from the old ones. Like, it's not as fun to say Jeff Bezos anymore when he's not the CEO. It's not as fun to say Susan when she's not the CEO. We gotta keep up with the CEO meta. Oh, his name is Jack Oaf. <laughs> I don't think that's the CEO. <laughs> I really don't think he's the new CEO. I need to gain a lot of time here to get this one. Fragile, so no airtime, ideally, but oopa. Throw. I think we yeah, we are getting to where there could be bobsleigh blocks. I tend to rate campaigns objectively and think about the variety within them, you know? Do you have all driving styles represented? One of my favorites is it's the Slays. So we'll see if Villa included them. Because if there is one, I might go for the, the Villa medal on that one. Ooh. Get author here. Oh, did I play against the bronze medal? Not on purpose, but... We have a bronze medal opponent. He's kind of crushing, though. Oh. <laughs> so that's why he got bronze. All good. I mean, he could definitely beat Arthur. I don't know why he didn't go for a second run. He should have he gone for a new attempt. Uh, yeah. Reactor. Like, am I gonna be to start this time? Okay, yes. I remember one of my IRL friends, I showed him Trackmania at a LAN party. He played a track of the day. And he selected a random opponent to for gold medal. And he happened to get a player called War Ass. The dude's name was War Ass. And he was like, you know what? I like this track. I beat Silver, but I can't go to bed until I beat War Ass. Like, I'm not losing to War Ass. He started playing at like 2 a.m. And he grinded for like a solid six hours until 8 a.m. So that he wouldn't lose to War Ass. And he basically just woke up the entire LAN party when we heard a tribal scream as he finally beat the dude. 
We have SLQY Slay. If you're gonna make the first ice map in the campaign, it needs to have wide turns. Like, there's a Twitch emote, wide people happy, it needs to be wider. It needs to be so wide. Else people are not gonna enjoy it. Even a little bit of the Bob Slays, okay. It's one turn though, but it's there. I feel represented, I feel heard. And sometimes that's all it takes. I am in this campaign. I'm in the picture, in the conversation. Okay, so it's a sharp. Yeah, yeah. Next one, I'm gonna crush this. Or I might. Oh, still have it. 13. Uh, these used to be sausage tech. And we're seeing something similar. That is at least tech. Definitely some sausage walks. Oh god. I'm slow at reading this. Visually. I see the jump. Okay, that's cool. Some very unfortunate seats for those spectators, I think. They can get hit a lot of the time. Back to where you started. You can go on a little adventure and then you go home. Nice. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna work. I need to uh, go on the other side of that. Still a second faster. Can I go on holiday to your place? You can go for a visit, Alan Star, if you want. Be my guest. Oh. Sounds like fun, actually. And it's not parasocial. Because I feel like we're friends and co-workers. <laughs> when I was a smaller streamer, I talked about having a... A this virtual con me. once. Dude. A convention. Have fun with the campaign work. I mean, since there's the streamer awards, there needs to be a chatter awards. Isn't that just... Logical... I see the names on the leaderboard. Norway's top five world on this. <laughs> it's all Norwegians. And I see my favorite surface in the game. Bobsleigh. Okay. So I think we are gonna go for the villa time on this. So far, very nice bobsleigh map. Into what? Wall ride? Okay. Oh, and you can jump across all that. Nice. All top sixes, Norway? That's kind of insane. I don't know how this happened, but Norway is just the best bobsleigh nation in this game, and it's not close. I'd like to say I have some responsibility like some like i'm at fault but i think it's just a lot of people from norway enjoy the surface but it's the same on the track of the day that was bobsleigh a while ago norway had like six out of the top 10 records and top three we're all norway as you might have guessed, after completing this run, Virtual got just a little bit attached. But how about we make a deal? You can subscribe to Virtual TV, and I will show you Virtual's final run on this map. How about that? Cheers. This is one of the most entertaining maps you'll ever see. Got the movement good.
Failed to wiggle a bit. All right, okay. Point 36, sixth place. Still three tenths behind record. I join my countrymen in the top of the world. Look at all these Norwegians all gathered on the, on the top of the leaderboard. I'll be honest, I'm not very good on plastic. Wait, where? Oh, that's cool. I don't know why I didn't see that. It pointed left. Points to the right. This is one of these, okay. If I'm gonna do well, I'm, I was thinking of playing RMC later. If I'm gonna do well, I need... I need to be able to sight read a map better. Like, just see what, where to go on first try. Because right now I'm slow. My brain is slow. It has delay. Is this just a... Oh! Okay, that's nice. Playing the... Um, the world I could seed yesterday gave me hope that if I get a good seed, I can maybe even beat the record. It's unlikely. You need a lot of good maps and skill, but I can at least get in the conversation. Crazy cart. It's a mini electric cart that has three wheels, a drift bar, and no brakes. You can even upgrade it to go faster. I have not heard of it. Ooh, author time. Not going for the villa medal on this. Have you guys seen the what emote? We don't have it because we don't have a lot of 7 TV emotes, but this one. What? It's a great emote. It'll be the one emote we have. I feel like that is an exception. That is one exception. Alright. This looks very full speed with the players on the leaderboards. And I am down for a proper full speed map. Got a speed slide there. Oh, it carries on through. Up through here. I actually cannot think of a better mapper than Villa to build a full campaign. When he spent so much time making, like, Thread of Ariadna, it's a 20 minute map. That features every style. It has ice, dirt, grass, plastic. Full speed tech, like it has everything, right? So it just makes so much sense that he would be the one to build it. Red maps. Oh, this is still oh, yeah, second red map. <laughs> the first one is also red. Now this looks interesting. This looks almost TMGL like. Like mixed, you know? Nothing one style specific. But a map that tries to feature all the styles. TMGL, competitive league of the game. Ooh. Maps are often built to have every single thing in it. Hmm. Not everything, but a lot of it. Hi, just joined. Glad to see I only win missed one minute, 47 seconds. Welcome to the stream. Actually, I see the theme of the map now, and it's those um, ice blocks here. Using these to align for drifts and whatnot. Which is kind of cool. Multi-style with this as the concept. And then all the way out here, I think, to get speed for this. Uh. Well, that was sharp. It's a drift there. 4269. How does Mika not have work on this? Well, it doesn't really have ice slides. Mika's not gonna gain speed on normal ice blocks, but where he gains speed is ice sliding. So this doesn't necessarily suit him too well, I think. So this was the one where you go low and to the right. 
Get speed out here. I'm scared of the car jumping out here. But actually, it sets up for auto rift. Okay, cool. 41.9. Haven't seen Mika around lately. I saw him recently in the ice couple today. Where he not only won, but got track of the day world record by like 0.4. So he does still play, it's just <laughs> situational, I think. He's still the best ice player. Like People have caught up a little bit, I'd say, but he is the best. So, uh, ice couple today, let me win that one, and then, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if you guys follow Trackmania on Twitter, but they did already post a screenshot of roughly what today's map looks like in couple today. Uh, and it's tech. It's a tech map, I think. Drifts. And that's okay. I'm like 900 elo chest, that's okay. I'm, um... I'm probably like plat if I played Rocket League. That's okay. When I played Rocket League, I was gold, but that was a long time ago. I can't be a god gamer at everything. But there is uh, one game above anything else other than Trackmania that I want to be good at. Because I think it will both help me become a better streamer and be smarter when I talk English. And it's Scrabble. Scrabble the board game with letters. And I recently talked to a guy who's a grandmaster in Scrabble. And I low-key asked him for a 1v1. <laughs> Where I might get stomped. I might get stomped. But I want it to be a learning experience. You might say, Scrabble Grandmaster? What is that? Well, effectively, someone who's a Grandmaster of Scrabble basically knows every legal English word between uh, two and eight letters. That is about 140,000 words you memorize. And then you look at your letter rack and you're like, oh, I can play this word here. But if I play another word, I can also block my opponent's high scoring chances. It's also calculating how many letters there are left and what possible words your opponent might have. I also watched the Scrabble World Championship and then mid-cast the commentators are like taking questions from chat and stuff and at one point they get super ecstatic. Oh my god, we hit a new viewership record for the grand final. And they're like, yeah, that's amazing. I'm so glad so many people are discovering the wonderful game of Scrabble. I can't believe we have 120 viewers in the live stream right now. <laughs> so, so if they let me, if they let me, I will gladly be a broadcaster of the next Scrabble World Championship and help this game get the recognition it deserves because we got to pump those numbers up. These are rookie numbers, okay? And I would, I would like to use my platform for good, for promoting the good word of Scrabble. Is this correct? This map is the dankest one yet. That's a big jump. Okay, I gotta see the rest. Thank you, Mr. Darkly. My experience is though, working with brands, it's easiest to have your agency reach out. But just working with like creators, it's kind of like, it's just easiest to ask yourself. Like, I'm not going to ask my agency to message a person and ask if they want to collab. It's more like you just ask yourself. It feels way more personal. But if, if my agency wants to talk to a potential sponsor, that's all cool. 
But for any event and stuff like that, I prefer reaching out. But I don't know who to reach out to. Here. That's a massive jump. But you have enough space for the landing, which makes it cool and not scary. Important difference. Uh, and then this turn, just outside, looks like it's full speed even. Forty-seven two. Is club access for ten dollars worth it if I started playing standard yesterday? Standard, ten dollars, you get cup of the day, track of the day. So the the two main things that happen in Trackmania, if you like. Every day a new track and a cup on that track against people your skill level. Very fun. Um, you also can download user main maps at that point, join any online server, talk in in-game chat, uh, and play past campaigns, like the old campaigns, right? You also get the more advanced map editor, build more complex tracks. Um... And then if you get club, the main things you get are ghosts. You can play against the world record ghost, or watch the world record ghost, see what they do, copy their lines. You can also use skins. I would say you should get club if you're like, really passionate about the game. So, TLDR, play starter access until you get bored. At that point, I would probably get standard, gives you a lot of content, $10 a year, not the worst price in the world. Club. Maybe a little bit steep, 20 or $30 a year. But you do get ghosts and skins. And you can make a club. Where you can make a server. Ooh. That was a sharp turn. This is the first proper tech map, and 21 is always tech in past campaigns. So I do like that they did that here too. Villa did that. Dude, it's crazy. I'm almost forgetting. I'm almost, I'm, I'm almost forgetting this is not an official campaign. Isn't that crazy? If you don't think about it, it feels official. Good job, good job. Very pleasant, nothing like. So I will say the one thing I feel Maybe going on <laughs> If I had to give because you know a lot of I have so many positive things to say if There's if there's one thing that I've noticed. It's like Villa's also playing it maybe a little bit safe with the blocks Sometimes the they will just put in an absolutely crazy map and it's like hit or miss whether it's the worst in the campaign or the best This campaign doesn't really have any like Woo! lunatic ideas that's one thing I feel. But they're just all very clean maps. Clean, polished maps. But I am missing a little bit of crazy. Just like a, t a hint. Oh, I tabbed out on accident, but it paused my game. Valid. <laughs> Ref? <laughs> I do like uh, maps that have some crazy ideas. But Villa had some earlier, like the underwater idea was a very nice gimmick. The ice transitions were a nice gimmick on the red Woo! map. Which so, if I remember the sharp turn coming up, I'll gain a ton of speed here. Yeah, that should be enough for the author time now. Low here, I can get a bit more speed through this. Go around here, sharp. Down to the jump up, one left. And then... Oh, wait. Suddenly this got very close. Oh, still got it. Number 22, more bobsleigh. Or no, this is probably full ice map. This is probably a full ice map. The bobsleigh start gives you an indicator of what's to come, and it's it's ice, yeah. But that's cool by me.
Okay. Engine off. Ooh. I like this turn. Dude, it's so nice. Just. I think more ice maps like this with a lot of space. It's okay to be bad at ice and still be able to complete the map. It doesn't have to be, you know, very narrow. I'd say the current ice campaign map is very good in that sense too. Map 23. We're gonna watch all the war at the end. Is this an obstacle map? Obstacle map, like mini RPD style, feels like it. Jump up. What's the difference between bobsleigh and ice? On flat ice, you want a ice slide. In bobsleigh turns, it's often fastest to just drive along the wall. Like just... Use the curvature of the block. To wall ride. Ooh. Long engine off part. Okay. Oh, was that? Yeah, that's a wall ride. So here, the map's actually built for you to drive along this wall because it's plastic. I'll do that. He's talking about beginner maps. You can't say Detroit. Detroit's a 30 minute long map driven at world record pace. I once had the world record on it. But not anymore. Oh. This should be the author time, I think. As long as I don't make a mistake in the engine off. Might seem counterintuitive to go around there, but I think that makes you have a lot more space for the drift. Drop down, drift around. Ooh, barely the author time. That's kind of wild. If there's a big RPG competition in this game, I might compete. I don't know if I want to go back to old maps. It feels a bit like... I want to leave those where they're at. Because I feel kind of done with TMNF RPG maps, but... If there's something new, I might play it. So we dump here now instead. Ooh. And then here. Down in the water. Then bobsleigh. And Whoa. left turn and finish. Okay. 101. It's have not you guys played Trackmania on console yet? I have not. Go into the hole in the middle of the road. Another Easter egg Elmsar or what? Was it worth it? Everywhere I go, I just see his face. The rat is laughing at me. I don't mind XDD, okay? You, people get me wrong. Like, there can be just one. You don't have to have the 900 other versions. Because then it's excessive. Like, you don't have to use every emote as, like, XDD. So you can just say chatting instead of XDD chatting. You need some variety. It can't all just be the rat. If everything's the rat, then nothing is. So 
So I did slow down a lot here, but I'm gaining a lot back. Oh, not enough. Or maybe with a power ending. Whew. Just barely. The last map is five minutes. Okay, Alan, sorry. Can you just cut to me just crossing the finish line? Like, now. And just like that, that is the SP Villa campaign. I don't know how we managed to skip all that, but that was great. Like, that was so fast. I did like 14 the most. I don't know why. Just this map, this map appealed to me. Could be the bobsleigh. Could definitely be the bobsleigh. Very cool villa. You should talk to Nadeo and ask them if you can build a campaign map for the next one, because uh, this does suit the style.